Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Mac haul. I recently just became a Mac affiliate, so I will have links to everything down below. I will make a very small commission off of any purchases that you guys make through my links, just so you are aware I'm not being shady or anything. So yeah, they sent me this little starter gift pack, which comes with some amazing goodies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in and show you guys what I was sent. So the first thing I have is this palette. It's called the Queen Supreme Palette. And I really like the packaging of this for starters. That's what the inside of the palette looks like. It is all shimmers, but I feel like you get enough mattes in other palettes so you can just mix and match. You can just use like individual shadows from somewhere else and then use one of these as a lid shade because the colors in here are to die for. I haven't even swatched them yet but I will swatch them for the video just I'm so excited. Um, I have swatched the highlighter though however which does look really really pretty. It's just like a light champagne-y goldy kind of shade. I am very excited about this because nothing gets me going more than like beautiful foiled eyeshadows. I love, love them. The next thing I got, I actually used today for the first time. It is the MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. So it's basically Fix Plus, but it does have like this pinky golden shift to it. Um, it has one of those little balls in the bottom. So when you shake it, it makes that noise and it mixes all the pink around. Um, and it's just meant to give you like a glow this one's obviously more of a pinky tone glow, which I was kind of like, ugh, worried about because I don't like to look pink. But when I tried it, it honestly doesn't look pink at all. It just looks glowy. So I am I'm happy with this. And I did need a new Fix Plus because I was pretty much... Actually, yeah, I was, I'm was. i out of mine. I don't know where. I felt like I had a little bit left, but it's gone, so I must have thrown it out. So it couldn't have come at a more perfect time, and I also love the packaging, how this is rose gold. Oh, I love. This one does also come in gold light as well, um, which I may have to pick up because I probably don't need it, but it also looks really beautiful. Another thing I used today is the Strobe Cream High Hydrant and it's in pink light once again. They have changed the packaging. I don't know if the original strobe cream looks like this now, but I feel like this is new packaging for the strobe cream. It's the traditional white glossy packaging here, but this is more like a rubberized feeling, if that makes sense. Again, I don't think this is overly pink at all. You'll see it in this makeup tutorial, which will probably be coming after this video. Um, this is my recreation of Blake Lively's Met Gala look because it was amazing. So yeah, I did try it today and it doesn't look pink at all on the skin. It just gives you like a really beautiful glow, which yeah, I'm, I'm so impressed by these. I was definitely worried that I was going to look like a pink shiny red beetroot, but they don't make it look like that at all. And I did notice this is actually quite sticky, which I feel like will be a good component to make your foundation last longer on top. I'm so happy I finally have a strobe cream. Next up I have a little lip scrub. I actually have two samples of MAC lip scrubs that smell amazing. I always forget to use them though but this one I got sent is in Fruit of Passion. Same thing again it's like that matte rubbery packaging um, and it's a pink little pot smells amazing. It's not overly strong, so if you don't like super strong scents, you probably like it. It's just quite like passion fruity. I actually did need a lip scrub as well because I haven't had a lip scrub in a little while and my lips are always so dry and since we're coming up to winter in Australia, it's gonna be probably a little lifesaver for all the dead flaky skin. Another kind of lip prepping product that I got is the Prep and Prime Lip Base. So I should have used this today. I actually forgot all about it, but it just comes in the little Prep and Prime packaging. It's just black and it's just a clear balmy type of thing. I'm just assuming it hydrates the lips, gives them like a good base for lipsticks and lip pencils to go over the top of. It's a good like basic to have, I think. I got sent a mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle which I do actually already have I've had mine for like 
six years or so and I still have not hit pan on it and mine is in the old packaging this is the newer packaging which is obviously prettier I feel like packaging gets better with time that's what it looks like I haven't decided what I'll do with it yet I may give this to my mum or my sister because they love love when I bring them little makeup gifts I kind of want to keep this one and give them the old one though because I want the new packaging yeah I'm that girl. Okay, a couple of mascara -y kind of products. I've got the False Lash Maximizer, which is a primer, I'm pretty sure, before you go in with mascara. So it's white packaging. I love the packaging of this, actually. It, like, it's like a little old, old school furniture wooden white stand. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like old school furniture, bed posts stands on little like side tables that's what it reminds me of so yeah it basically just looks like a white lash primer and yeah it just says it's a false lash maximizer so i'm assuming like you wouldn't put this on your false lashes but i'm guessing it makes you look like you've got false lashes on when you don't so i'll definitely try that out and keep you posted on what it's like and then i got a mascara which the packaging of this is so nice I love this I love this so it's silver and then it says bold and bad lash all over it in like a velvet it's like textured velvet it's amazing um, and the little red part at the top is actually a little bottom lash mascara wand super tiny and super petite and I love 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 using those for bottom lashes Makes it so much easier to grab every single little eyelash there. And then the bigger wand is like a nice chubby, chubby looking thing. I've only ever tried one other mascara from MAC, which I think was the... I actually cannot remember the name of it, of it for the life of me. But I did love that one, so I have high hopes for this. And I just love that it's got the little bottom lash mascara wand in there. I just... I love innovative products. Okay, and then the last things I got was some lip products. I got two lip pencils. I got the shades Boldly Bare, which is a nude, and Ruby Woo, which is a red. It's like a classic from MAC. Um, I did actually wear Boldly Bare a couple of days ago, and I never understood the hype around lip liners, like high-end lip liners. Then I tried this, and my lipstick literally lasted through an entire nap and through my dinner. Like, that never happens. It wasn't even, like, it was just a, it was just Velvet Teddy from MAC as well on my lips, and it lasted that long. And when I sleep, like, I sleep with my arm over my face, like, messily, and it lasted. So I'm pretty sure it's all thanks to this little baby. So yeah, even though they're a wooden pencil, they are not, like, hard on the lips at all. They're not, like, they don't drag. They're still very, very soft. Yeah, Ruby Woo is like a beautiful red. It's, I'd say it's in between a deep cherry red and like a bright cherry red. I don't know if that makes any sense or if that's a good explanation, but that's what I'm going with. All right, and the last two products are lipsticks, just like classic MAC lipsticks. The first one, again, I already have, which is Velvet Teddy. One of my favorite nudes of all time. It looks so good on so many people. It's just like, it's a cult favourite and I'm going to say this one because I have no doubt that I will go through my current Velvet Teddy. And then I did get the Ruby Woo lipstick as well to go along with the lip liner. So that's what that little baby looks like. I love the smell of these. Oh, I just drew on my nose. And yeah, that's everything that I was luckily and luckily lucky enough to be sent from MAC and yeah I'm super grateful I'm grateful to you guys because I would not be able to be sent products and be you know able to work with amazing companies like MAC if it wasn't for you guys it means a lot when they pick out smaller influencers like little old me to promote their products so thank you thank you thank you I'm very appreciative hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and it wasn't too short because I feel like I talked a million miles an hour but anyway don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy hauls and I will be sure to do more of them and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye